Right now, the poor in church don't have a voice. They are the ones who don't have faith. They are the ones who sit outside. Who is your father? Who is your mother? They are posted church. We are laughing about it. Many of us are enjoying it. Many times, they begin to teach us demonic things. What they are teaching many people is what the Bible calls new age. New age. New age. They teach you all kinds of principles all in the name of the prophetic and many people truly begin to enter into the realm of the spirit and walk into all kinds of demonic things. Schools of prophecy where they gather people and pray and say now Aaron what did you see? You must tell us what you saw. And then everybody truly begins to see every kind of thing. And we use those things and pervert the body and you look at somebody who is not called into the fivefold ministry and say steve i see prophet in your name from today henceforth move in that in your might and steve is struggling because the grace is not there and then you tell him to amplify his prophetic by bringing a seed for you now he brought the seed how many of you have given seeds to fake people and you did not get the result everybody that blessed a true prophet of god in scripture received a prophet reward many of our parents work hard only to come and vomit all the money in the presence of gullible and wicked prophets by the end of the month they are in your house they came for a prophetic instruction they gather everybody out how come people cannot think in the church a man of God looks at a lady and says, strip naked. Quickly, quickly is a prophetic instruction. And you see her hurrying up. Nonsense. The Bible lets us know that there is a more sure word of prophecy. Are you listening to me? A more sure word. It will not contradict the spirit of Christ. For the testimony, the testimony of Jesus is the true spirit, the motivation behind every prophetic word. many believers right now do not have time for them and god you know why we are busy busy trying to look for money busy trying to look for husband and wife busy trying to look for jobs busy trying to do everything the bible says seek ye the kingdom and his righteousness those values are no longer preached we men of God celebrate it when people join queues and they are waiting for the anointing and you see people as if Jesus didn't die for them too for hours they are helpless waiting for the stepping in of the man of faith and power Joshua Selman I'm not saying don't respect men of God but why have you made them gods to your life hallelujah a man marries his wife the man of God will not let them flog out their issues and enjoy issues. Everything that happens, she will come to tell the man. The day she's pregnant, the man will know before her husband. Let the husband go and eat the baby. Where are we going? The apostate church. Intelligent men and women become brainwashed in the church. And we begin to do all kinds of things. The Lord must arise and help us. Are you listening to me the people have come to a point where we love it so we are not ready for growth and any minister of the gospel that stands for this truth unconsciously the seed has been planted and we begin to hate those people I believe in new creation realities. I have been blessed I believe it till death I believe in the operation of faith We talk to people and tell them nobody should die. When somebody dies, the church does not take responsibility. They say, go and bury the person. It's a shame to our church. We are the ones who live forever. 
and they leave the person sad helpless going and he goes to meet his orthodox church that we always laugh at and then they are the one who conduct the funeral and laugh but let that person's business blossom and you will see claiming of members sheep stealing in the name of church planting everybody everybody becomes a son how come blind people are not spiritual sons to men of god but they are in our churches how come the ladies who are not fine are not submitting to the people everybody looks for the best the choicest and we yoke people with all kinds of demonic doctrines tonight there are two categories of people in this place those who will say and say this nudging in my spirit it has been there is a cry of the spirit and those who will just laugh you want true prosperity you want true power there are many young people in this country that we have been taught that a process is as a result of lack of faith so we teach people that now faith is if your faith is working the jeep should come now and somebody in 200 level is converting jeeps angry he will not sit down and read his book just shouting because we have misled them and a young man who has 50,000 that's all the money his poor parents gave him he comes to school and we put them under pressure because he's the head of department you must buy this suit with 45,000 to match our status may God have mercy on his church some of you have been victims of what I'm saying to a point that you are now enjoying it the man of God may not be fake but it does not justify the principles he's using hallelujah and the Lord brings us to help us know him righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne many people right now every time you talk about bible study a time of building in the world people begin to frown but once you talk of breakthrough night a night of receiving and taking take yours people say yes this is the kind of thing i like encounter with the spirit of elijah then they'll put semicolon speed yes we like it everything that bypasses the process of greatness and can i tell you something many of our parents look at us although they are not filled with the holy ghost but heed some of the warnings they are giving they may say young man i may not know god oh but i know this is not how he works Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel when you come to reign we do not have people who can stand for christ and stand for truth they say if you cannot beat them do what many of you are hoping to finish school now and run to abuja your blood is already hot an year project hi ah, god let me finish this thing see i will shake the country so every time they are saying you are blessed in your mind what you are thinking is let me go and invade everything can someone walk up to you and drop five million naira over the integrity of your faith can you look at it without praying about it and say no i love god more than this don't be too quick to smile and nod your head because many generals who have fallen gullible were this confident are you listening to me
where a man will steal another woman's wife and come to meet you and say pastor bless us uh, as a token of my appreciation i have one small wine you are not doing introduction you are a man of god and so you tell them i love you but this is the position of the word of god and i will not compromise it may cost you your fame it may cost you your reputation you may not belong momentarily notice what i'm saying there are many of you right now on account of your faith people have called you stupid because you are doing the things that god wants you to do that guy wanted to go out with you and he was so rich but you went to the lord and god said no way and your friends insulted you they say you you are the most stupid lady we know in this day and age can't you collect his money and go what is there about him sleeping with you but then you stand for truth can i tell you something there is a name that god is called he's called the lord of sabaoth and he's about to step in and prove those who truly love him can i tell you what the lord showed me one time i shared it that the works of men were like heaps hallelujah somebody told me about it and then i forgot about it one day when the lord showed me surprised me many men came to stand and their works just like wheat in the harvest and fire just passed it and then you just see something little left that's the real thing that they are doing for the kingdom can i tell you something you can live and be a billionaire in this life you can live and be an influential person you can have a church membership of two billion people but it is only the degree to which you walk consistently with god that will make sense in the realm of the spirit are you listening to me so many of you who have been taught that god's way is just to make you a millionaire overnight calm down there is something called a process sow your seeds today build your life today many who cannot stay with the holy spirit you can't study for five minutes because you have been taught that you need to hurry up there is no hurry in this life you know why i'm saying that because those that have been moving according to god's pattern will turn and find out that they are ahead of those who have been deceiving them there are many churches and ministries you are seeing today the day their harvest begins to come it will shock you because they are laboring bearing root downwards there are many men of god you hear today i remember years ago years ago abu has changed years ago you see a man of god small grace you touch one sister and she falls you see one pa one pa one this one that i remember those times i used to be quiet and i would lock myself somewhere i was walking in the anointing walking in grace encounters with jesus but i knew the bible says john remained in the wilderness until the time of his appearing many people came with visions and prophecies josh we saw you in a tv station pfn remember pfn said they wanted to give us room to start eni in one of their branches all those things look like expansion in ministry but i knew that was not the season of appearing are you listening to me many of us have short-circuited our dealings and our trainings with the lord because we have been taught a false doctrine a false gospel when god is dealing with you and he has not finished you jump classes in the spirit now you come and establish a big ministry and those lessons you would have learned from the classes you jumped will bring you back and retrogress you in ministry even at the height of it every young man who can wear suit they just call him and say kneel down 
pour oil on him and say stand up I saw the gift of the spirit on you you are, an, you are a pastor you are an apostle and now this guy just got born again six months ago and they say forget the harvest is why the Babylon in him has not finished dying now he stands on stage and he sees Lara very pretty lady and the old man Cain is attempting to resurrect when Abel is preaching and that guy is struggling on stage he's laughing then he says come into my office and tomorrow you hear that something happens and people will say how far Moses stayed 40 years in the wilderness let me tell you something friends we must return to the order and the patterns of the spirit if we want to last and be great a lot of people do not go through the dealings of God suddenly one breakthrough comes they step into prosperity and they become fools the Bible says the prosperity of fools will destroy them because they do not know the purpose of the blessings they were not taught are you listening to me tonight God is searching our hearts because he wants us not to be the apostate church there is a church like that in Nigeria I don't mean a denomination I mean a group of people parading all kinds of beliefs the church is becoming a psychological thing right now you go to churches and you see the the drawing of anatomy and they're explaining every kind of thing your subconscious mind your inner conscious mind the other one that is there when you are hot information goes through this place what is your university for And then the man laughs and says, Ah, so this is the side of me that makes me like women. So it's not even bad. Hallelujah. And we try to teach people principles of metaphysics and Christian science, mind reading. A prophet just comes and says, Come, Josiah. And Josiah comes. He said, now everybody watch. Wave his hand and Josiah goes blind. And people say, wow. That is certainly not the spirit of Christ. Because among all the things that God gave man dominion over, man was not mentioned. Are you listening to me? So that we tread the path of destiny with care. Knowing the word of God. Herbalists have found out that they are running out of markets and they now have left their their herbal joints and worn suit and said if you will not come to us we are coming there is a mountain in Abuja I think Manasseh will tell you when you go there they give you stones and you throw if by any means your stone does not hit the tree that you are trying to throw you will know what brought you there. So you want to marry or you want this. They bring it. And, and you throw. And if he hits it, you will rejoice. A man of God says in the name of prophetic instruction, bring the photo of the lady or the guy you want to marry. Or the kind of job you want. They say bring it. Now there is a place for that. But this is where the boundary crosses. They say now, Put your seed upon it and bring it. Put candle on top. Go around it seven times. Do all of this. Is that not what native doctors are doing? I don't care who is doing it. There is a name. It's called witchcraft and manipulation. That's exactly what is going on. And many men of God are already building cabals. There is the cabal of the prosperous ones. There is the cabal of the handsome young men of God. There is their group. They are the ones who can shake ladies. When it's time to pray in tongues, they come and stand and do all kinds of nonsense. Tonight's message is ringing a bell in your spirit. We are going to pray. We have to be out of here. So, the apostate church. And there is a warning. It says that if you do not stay and you take on this doctrine, many churches have now become business centers 
different kinds of anointing oils different kinds of breakthrough handkerchiefs different kind of prophet's mantle they line them before you while service is going on and they tell everybody just come according to your needs but i know in my bible that there was a time that a particular sorcerer a man wanted to buy power from peter and he said thy money perish with you i'm not saying don't buy tapes don't buy anointing oil but if your purpose i went somewhere and the man was marketing books and he says that if you don't buy this book something will happen to the people after three days and you need to see the believers intelligent people some doctors everybody rushing why can't you just say this is my work i have labored and you can honor me and honor what god is doing is that not honest enough what is wrong with saying koinonia um if you consider me to be a servant of god bless me come and stand and twist truth the bible says handling the word of truth rightly men of god have gone to the extent of receiving all kinds of powers there was a case in kaduna i'm sure some of you heard about it the man of god that had a special anointing oil that he will rub on himself as he's stepping into the church come and see power everybody falling because the greeks seek for a sign hallelujah and one day he forgot to put the oil and then when he came he told his assistant to quickly run and check somewhere up and bring the oil and it so happened because of morning service the assistant pastor didn't take his bath he would bath later on and his body was white he said kai let me just quickly this kind of embarrassment and the guy just rubbed the oil small as soon as the assistant entered the power of god began to break out and the geo said you touch that oil Abby. not fiction not fiction To the point that the church of christ cannot even know the difference between a true man of god and a false man of god a right spirit and a wrong spirit anything god cannot give me i cannot get from anybody anywhere he cannot take me i cannot go you must come to a point the the higher you go in the spirit the more dependent you are on him and his word he said i love your word more than my necessary food we must train a word carrying church hallelujah job said all the days of my appointed time i will wait until my change comes for your honesty in your job place you have not been promoted wait there will be the time of appearing let me tell you when god promotes you no man can demote you when a man promotes you you will need him to keep taking you higher but when the king of glory the one who watches over his word to perform it lifts you you are lifted forever there is a relationship between praying in tongues staying seriously with god's word diligence a life of purity and holiness and the anointing of the spirit when you see a man moving in the anointing and you do not see these traits something is wrong there is no guesswork about the anointing there is no guesswork about the word of god are you getting blessed tonight the apostate church tonight many of us need to deliver ourselves from religiosity and traditions of men that stop us from stepping in when we begin to examine the book of revelation we'll talk about the seven churches and will examine everything that the Lord forbade in their lives. But tonight my call is that judgment is coming upon the body. There is judgment that will come upon the body. And many churches will be affected. Many bishops will be affected. Many men of God will be affected. Many apostles, many prophets will be affected. Not because God is a wicked God. Because the 
people of God have been perverted from the ways of God. It's time for everyone to get up and know God for real. Know his ways. Let the word of God not just become an instrument of devotion for you in the morning. They are life to those who find them. It must become your life that you say, if I perish, I perish. Faith in the operation of God's word. If God has said you are blessed, you are blessed. If God has said you are lifted, you are lifted. It doesn't matter what APU tells you. It doesn't matter what your parents tell you. His anointing is upon your life. You may not look like it, but the word of God tells you. You stop running from pillar to post looking for endorsements. The word has endorsed you. It has called you the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. We need a generation of men and women who when they come to bribe you, you will say no. No bribery. No corruption. Where if God takes you to a place of government, you will stand for truth. You will stand for justice. You will stand for equity at every cost. Job said, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. No bribery that you are seeing, you are in the exam hall. No malpractice. You know that you can copy and get an A and it will shift you from 2 to 2, two 1. And you say, no, I love the Lord. Not it does not matter. My spirit is seated with Christ. My body is seated in hell. hallelujah where you believe the lord where you stand for what is true the values of the kingdom the church has become a secular place any tom dick and harry that produces any album just jumps on your stage and because we are looking for fame we don't know the difference between zion and babylon again the sacredness and the purity of the word of God and the songs of the spirit. And by the way, let me correct what you are saying. Many of you say, hey, he's talking about rappers. I love rappers. that are born again, spirit-filled people. So let your religion not even think is what I'm talking about. I'm not just talking of those singing hymns. I'm talking of those who are truly born again, filled with the Holy Spirit, that Christ has become the center of their lives. That whether through raps, through music, whatever, they know that they are not just musicians and guest artists using the church as a ladder to climb to greatness, but that they love God for real. That when they come out to minister, I was listening to an interview by Frank Edwards, I love him so much. They say, how do you write your songs? He say, I don't write my songs. I spend time in the spirit and I receive them. Right now, everybody wants to get money. You just sit down and conjure one album. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You're my Lord, you're my Lord. Jesus, Jesus. And no life, death, standing and shaking itself in the church. And people are just nodding. They are just enjoying it. No lie. No lie. The person finishes his song and runs outside and is laughing. He's saying, man, you should give me my honorarium. Well, let me leave. I have another meeting somewhere. And he said, you must give me my money in this place. We'll, we'll drag this thing. Many of you are seated here. You are musicians. You are music ministers. The reason why God has not lifted you is because you have not listened to this message. Until he flogs out flesh and Babylon in you. Then the glory will begin to come by itself. We want a set. See, let me tell you why I shout and I say these things. Because now I have access to you. Tomorrow I may not have access to you. You will be too busy. So I kill it and bring it as hot as it is. So that you can listen it can sink into your spirit you may not like me but tomorrow you will bless me you will put my children in your school because you are happy your responsibility will make you a blessed man 
There is nobody who laughs during training. It's only in the church people laugh during training. They are happy. They say you are lifting weight. You want to compete with the whole world. You are smiling. No. Go and watch the Olympic people. For the place of training is a place of sacrifice. Sister, I know you are pretty. But permit me to flog out Babylon. Flog it out. So that your beauty can be as gold. My brother, I know you are nice. Let me flog it out. By the time I do that, let me tell you something. You will stand strong. God can make you the entrepreneur. You will be the next or third or last and the rest. But then you will be a strong person. This time around, you will be able to stand and tell the world and say, I love Jesus Christ. Next time, some of you will be the bishops and you will remember. You will not be some of the bishops we have in this country with all due respect. You will know the difference between God and man. If this is my only assignment on earth, I am happy and I will do it honorably. Necessity is laid on me and the word burns in my spirit like fire and I must bring it out as it is. Come out from among them and be ye separate come out the language tonight is come out from among them be ye separate don't adopt those philosophies i'm not teaching you to be critical that every time you go to a church you are just trying to watch the mistakes of the man of god no 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 god does not use perfect people his glory unwraps them and then brings them to a place of grace where they are dependent on his grace However, there are some things that are not mistakes. It's called apostasy. The perversion of truth. Be careful the kind of men and women of God you allow to climb your stage. Men of God, be careful the kinds of meetings you allow. Now I'm not, this is, I don't go for any kind of ministration. Call it pride, call it whatever. People just come and meet you and through a phone, they say there's a meeting. Seven men of God are coming want you to come and honor them the next thing you see your face in the middle of witches and wizards they use your presence to endorse evil so when people see you they say ah if joshua selman can be here that means these people are nice then after the meeting the people say ah i'm that joshua selman's friend come and meet me at home and they say yes sir the same respect that's what has been happening in a lot of churches a lot of things because of honorarium everything you just go because we are afraid of our reputation you don't scrutinize and question and make sure that everything is lined up in obedience to christ hallelujah thank you jesus this teaching will make you strong this teaching will make you great i tell you the truth it may not mean anything to you right now but i assure you in the days to come it will separate you it will bring you grace listen to what i am telling you it will bless you i will not teach you what will destroy you this may be a hard teaching but can i tell you something hear the voice of the lord tonight one day you will know that a preacher was shouting truth into your spirit your spirit bears witness as painful as it is your spirit tells you i'm not lying to you i will tell you what many men of god will not tell you that's why we respect god in this place we know the boundaries of offerings we know the boundaries of character we know the boundaries of everything It's supposed to model to you something we may not be the best of people but we are certainly not the worst and I hope that you see a desire to love God. Can your life be true? Can you be a replica of the true Jesus life? Can the anointing come upon you? And the glory of God will still beautify you. Can God make you a millionaire and a billionaire? 
and his kingdom will still be advanced can God make you an influential person in the government can God give you the anointing the power you want the fame the influence the charisma can God take you to the nations and still find your heart oh Lord I want to know your